Alexa, read my notifications. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived. Alright, here it is. Here pick. So it doesn't even have the name that I saw online for it. There's some stuff falling out. Looks like there's some instructions. Model P50. And here it is, the English version of it. I'll say one thing, it looks kind of like a, an old iPad or something. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, it does. And when it turns on, the light at the front turns on also. There. Let's look at the text on this. See how far away it has to be. Oh, let's see. Where's the top? This is the top of the camera. Right there. Hmm. It's a little bit off, but okay, let's see. Ooh. Cool. Hmm. So here on the side, looks like there's might be a speaker here. Let's see. Yeah, it has the reset button has the TF card, I believe it's already in there. And then it has the USB. And then here's the USB cable. And here are the spoons. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have six, six. So that's kind of weird. It's not as many as what said that uh, had on the website. I'll have to check the website again. I think I might have been gypped. Thought I saw more. Let's see. How do we open this? So, let's 
let's see, that's a good way to do this. This is a little small, and this must be the child's. It's very small. must be the 360 but it doesn't look like the 360 that they showed this one has a little hole the front or the bottom or top or whatever you call it hmm it's interesting and let's see the adults Seems kind of like a. It's not as shiny at the top as it is. The rest of it. It's like it's been dulled out a little. So let's see. Let's calibrate it to the top. So. That's the bottom. There. So I'll put this at the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Is this a touch screen? No? See if I can upload this. All right, here we are. This is my right ear. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very difficult to navigate in there. It's a. Uh, I wish that the camera had like a dot or an arrow on the lens to show what is the, you know, pointing upward, so you know how to orientate yourself. Um, redness in my ear, uh, like an irritation or something, and then this is my left ear, I'm trying to come around this bend, and for some reason it's just so difficult, so the orientation, and, uh, I think I do finally get around to it, you can see right got there, so I think this is the clearest it's going to get for me. And I decided, you know, let's try my wife. So I went over there, and this is her a left ear. As you can see, it's uh, pretty uh, dirty in there. It's not chunky, but it looks like everything's caked along the walls. And it looks like it's pretty deep in there. This is probably from uh, using Q-tips pushing the wax back into her ear, uh, which she shouldn't do, but, you know, doesn't look like a, ooh, it's really bad, right? And then uh, I'm going to go to her right ear next, and uh, you can see this one's pretty bad also. Actually, uh, watch this out. Part where we finally turn this corner, get in there, and it looks like an eyeball is looking back at us. This is like things uh, in a horror movie. Right? It's like creeping along, and all of a sudden, looking there, and an eyeball. You can see on this ear is pretty kicked in also. But there it is. Ooh. It's like an eyeball from like a dinosaur or something or some kind of reptilian. Okay. So it looks like these 360 spoons work the best for an adult. I didn't use these on the kids just because uh it's a weird angle. The 
tip is too big for most ear canals and it gets very hot. Uh, the other thing is I realized this does not automatically record so to record you turn it on and you press it three times and then you'll see the timer up here and that's the record timer and you give it one more press and it turns it off so let's turn off completely and as you can see here the micro SD is here so you just have to use your thumbnail, pull it out, and then the charging port. So here's the charging cable it came with. Once you connect it, you'll see a light right there indicating that it is charging. All right, that's it. So the ear pick. Uh, I can't say this is what I ordered, but uh, I mean, it looks like it. Like I said, when I was uh, researching it, that it's probably some Asian brand or company that just made a whole bunch of these and just sells them out to whomever. So it's just very generic. It just says LE or LCD digital otoscope uh, sin or sino her. Yeah, that's the brand. It says new. So that's the only place I see where it says sino her. So, all right, there it is. Uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up after a few uses and let you know how it goes. If you have one, let me know what you think of it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it out yourself, or if you just want to read up on the reviews and see you know, something that is right for you. All right, take care.